friends, I am coming at you with an update for my conches. This is actually a four month update. I went ahead and stretched them up to a zero gauge on August 29th. So this is a four month. Today is September 29th. So I wanted to tell you how they're doing. They're doing really well. Uh, they're healing nicely and I am incredibly happy. I know when I first stretched them to a zero gauge, it was quite painful. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty, pretty painful. And I just dropped my notes, so I'm gonna go ahead and retrieve them really quick. Okay, so some points I wanted to go over. Um, it's not a whole lot, just some things I've noticed, and um, these are things that I haven't noticed with previous stretches of my conches. Um, some of them are, some of them aren't, but yeah. Anyway, the number one thing that I have noticed with my conches that I didn't really no notice with previous stretches a whole lot was soreness, swelling, and oozing. Now, they still ooze, especially this one here on my right side, especially when I'm sleeping. I don't sleep on it. I have a travel pillow, which really helps. But I wake up and I don't have, thankfully, down my neck. I know it's gonna sound gross, but I just need to be real with you guys. I don't have it down my neck anymore. Not like I did when I first stretched to a zero gauge. But I do get collection at the back of the tunnel, if you know what I mean, kind of crustiness. So um, that kind of touches on a future point I want to make. But the next point I want to make is random noises. Now you're probably thinking, what on earth is she on about? Well, I'll explain. Random noises. So I'll be sitting there in the quiet of the hour when I can hear like a really weird clicking sound. I don't hear it anymore because the healing has progressed far enough that I don't really hear it as much. But that noise is an indicator that the ear piercing is still acclimating itself to the new size. It's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. So if you're somebody who's in the process of stretching your cartilage of any, any type, especially your conch, since it's like right by your, your ear canal, you're gonna hear things and I don't want you to be alarmed. But that is one thing that you'll be hearing is just kind of a clicking, random clicking sound, just indicating that your ear is still healing and acclimating. The next thing I wanna go over is itching. This ear especially still itches. Um, not as bad as it used to, but it still does. And you don't wanna, you know, with dirty hands, you don't wanna just but in the shower, if it starts doing that, um, carefully, you know, maybe just take your, your thumbnail or, or just kind of on the outside of your ear, not even near the piercing, in the shower with clean hands. Because it's easy to get tempted to, to itch and kind of play with it, um, but you don't want to because you don't want to you don't want to regress your healing process. The next thing and the last thing I want to touch on again is crusties. So you're going to get them and you don't want to peel them off. You just want to, you just want to let it be. Now in the shower, you do want to clean your piercings and you want to get that crustiness off, but you don't want to peel it if it's not ready. And you'll know you just, when you're in the shower, you just take the tip of your finger and just kind of around your jewelry just to kind of gently remove the crusties. You don't want to scratch at it. You don't want to dig at it. So that is the list of observations that I've noticed with my zero gauge conches. And I'll go ahead and show you what each one looks like. And I, I feel comfortable doing this now. And in this, I've waited a long time to make this video because I want to actually show you. And I couldn't with this ear because it was gross. It's not gross anymore, so I'll go ahead and show you this ear first. And this is the zero gauge. I have a 14 gauge hoop going through it, and it's also going through the orbital on my lobe, so that's pretty cool. And this side too is the same setup. Uh, you can ignore my gnarly skin. So yeah, 
zero gauge and it looks so much better than it did. I am so happy. So if you have any questions, if you are in the stretching process of any type of cartilage or your lobes, I've done it too. Um, these lobes are half inch. So if you have any stretching related questions, feel free to throw them at me. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you with me. If you, ha if you have subscribed, thank you so much. It's amazing having you on board and I really hope everybody has had a wonderful Christmas holiday season. And I am hoping to make another video um, at the end of the year. You're probably thinking, well, it is the end of the year, crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, anyway, I wanna make a video, um, kind of like a 2020 rundown of all my body piercings and tattoos. I got the request a long time ago and I've been wanting to make that video, but I got sidelined there for a while and I wasn't making any videos. Long story. <laughs> I may go into it in a future video, but as for now, I just want to say thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the new one. All right. Bye-bye.